for countless Americans, this agreement has failed. We cannot ignore the huge trade deficits, the lost manufacturing jobs, the businesses that have closed or moved because of incentives, intended or not, in the current agreement. The numbers are clear. The U.S. government has certified that at least 700,000 Americans have lost their jobs due to changing trade flows resulting from NAFTA. Many people believe that the number is much, much bigger than that. I want to be clear that he is not interested in a mere tweaking of a few provisions and a couple of updated chapters. We feel that NAFTA has fundamentally failed many, many Americans and needs major improvement. The process we begin today is not about going back to the past, but is looking into the future. Mexico believes that NAFTA has been a strong success for all parties, and we also agree that there is room for modernization in order to make this agreement even more successful. The issue is not tearing apart what, we ha what it has worked, but rather how we can make our agreement work better. Canada doesn't view trade surpluses or deficits as a primary measure of whether a trading relationship works. Nonetheless, it's probably worth pointing out today that our trade with the U.S. is balanced and mutually beneficial. In 2016, Canada and the United States traded $635.1 billion U.S. dollars worth of goods and services. And that exchange was almost perfectly reciprocal. In fact, the United States ran a slight surplus with us of $8.1 billion U.S. dollars. And it is worth pointing out that we are the biggest client of the United States. Canada buys more from the U.S. than China, the U.K., and Japan combined.